the scanning technique for the duodenum in lateral recumbent canine patients. For this ultrasound, a linear transducer will be used at high frequencies with or without harmonics. The general gain should be maintained at approximately 60 to 65 percent, and the third or fourth TGC curve should be selected from the drop-down menu. For this technique, place the patient in left lateral recumbency with their legs directed towards the sonographer. This position will allow one person to have complete control over the patient's front and hind limbs while the sonographer performs the ultrasound. The duodenum lies superficially along the right lateral wall of the abdomen. To begin, locate the right kidney by placing the transducer in the long axis, pointing the marker towards the patient's head. Then open the scan field of view or slide the transducer ventrally to find the nearest bowel segment ventral to the right kidney. The duodenum is the thickest segment of the small bowel. It should appear thicker than the neighboring bowel. While staying in the long axis orientation, follow this loop caudally, fanning medially and slightly laterally until the caudal duodenal flexure is seen directing dorsally. That means deep in the image. The caudal flexure is cranial to the urinary bladder and the pancreas lives in the mesenteric border of the duodenum. Take measurements of the long axis images from the lumen to the serosa. Identify the five different layers of this segment of bowel. The first layer is the serosa, the second is the muscularis, the third is the submucosa, the fourth is the mucosa, and the fifth is the lumen. If visualization in the long axis is proving difficult, use color Doppler in the transverse plane. Repeat the evaluation in the short axis plane. Ensure that the marker points dorsally towards the spine. Use an adequate depth to cover the anatomic landmarks. The duodenum will be ventral to the right kidney in short axis views.